It was a rainy April day, and I came home late. I was out. A little soiree with some friends, music, you know the type. Lord Freeman did not have an appreciation for the arts, and had decided to stay home that night. I called out Gregory's name to let him know that I was home. Curiously, there was no answer. That's when I found his body. So you found the body of your husband at what time, Mrs. F? I suppose it's Ms. F now. My condolences. Oh well, yes, to come back to your earlier question, I found him there. And you were with friends before that? Oh, yes. It was a very merry group, but my god, the circumstances. The champagne wasn't properly chilled. Not even get me started on the hors d'oeuvre. Did they do mini cheeseburgers? I love when they do mini cheeseburgers. I was keeping mostly to myself. There were simply too many people to enjoy mingling. How would you describe your relationship with your husband, Mrs. F? Perfectly adequate. Hmm. Adequate. So, enlighten me, Mrs. F. Your marriage was adequate, as you put it, despite your frequent endeavors. All the dinner parties that your husband did not accompany you to, the soirees where he abandoned you. Ms. F. Oh, you poor thing. Your husband sounds dreadfully boring. Oh, Smitty, you have no idea. Being boring was a death sentence, the world would be drastically less populated. <laughs> so, who do you think wanted your husband dead, Mrs. F? Ms. F. And probably the whore from next door he was having sex with whenever I was out. He was cheating on you? <laughs> no, I was being ironic. Sarcastic. Your neighbors insist they heard you fight a lot. <laughs> Isn't that just marriage? What were you fighting about? Have you heard of learned helplessness, Detective? Gregory was allergic to doing the dishes. He thought it to be a woman's, no housewife's duty. He would leave his dirty dishes standing wherever he felt like it, not giving a second thought about it because he's a man, and men are beyond simple tasks like cleaning dishes or doing laundry or satisfying their wife. Sometimes I just wanted to yell at him. Sure, sweetheart. I think you killed your husband, Mrs. F. <laughs> Wait. I can't believe- One more word, and you're fired. You had the motive, you had the opportunity. I see. So let me get this right. You think... You think I was sick and tired of being a wife to a bumbling idiot. So you think I made a plan? You think I made sure to RSVP to one of Mary Beth's awful soirees. So I would have an alibi. Then you think. I would have waited until Mr. F had drunk himself into half a coma, again, half asleep, drooling on himself in his favorite chair. My favorite chair. It's quite the nice chair. Ugh, leave. And then you think, I would have waited for Mary Beth's call, asking where the hell I was, not answering the phone, which would wake up Mr. F. And I, standing behind him, ready to strike, just waiting for the opportunity, stab him in the back with a kitchen knife. <laughs> 
All because he didn't do the dishes. Yes, ma'am. A lovely theory. And let me just ask you this. How the hell are you going to prove it? As the lights went down on blue suburban streets where I see your smile lost in a foggy sea as the lights went down on blue suburban street and our eyes defy the dreams as the silent parade tears our eyes and it in draw to the shadow and Street and nice come.